Hey, what's up, everybody? It's another candle. Um, I wanted to mention something today, and it's going to kind of have a little bit to do about the uh, the video about prayer that I was doing the other day. But it also, it's not exactly related. I guess it's just it's related to prayer, more or less. <clears throat> my uh, my mom sent me a video last night. It was about uh, a guy who used to be a boxer that gave his life to the Lord and basically said that he had went into the, the locker room showers and he, he he got saved. He realized that he needed to be saved. I, I can't really go into the entire story because I can't remember all of it to be able to do it justice, but he got saved and he came out proclaiming Jesus. And that's an awesome thing. Now, in that interview, uh, and this was a while ago, like uh, that's something I do want to point out. This was something that I, I don't exactly know when. I could tell by the uh, the grain in the interview recording that this is something that happened a while ago. Maybe it was the 80s or 90s. I'm not sure. But one of the things that stood out to me is, you know, after he was giving his testimony, you know, they uh, they said, "All right, let's pray," and they and then they, you know, they said, "Let's get on our knees and pray." That's what I want to talk about. Why don't people do that anymore? Like, I do understand that a lot of us, whenever we pray, we may be in a situation or uh, maybe you're at work. Maybe you're driving your car like I am right now. I can't really get on my knees right now to be able to pray. Um, and so I do get where there's circumstances where that's just not exactly possible. But I want to know, why don't we get down on our knees and pray to God anymore? Like, one of the only times that I will see people get down on their knees to pray is whenever they are in desperation. Whenever there's, you know, something really bad is going on and then they will get down on their knees and pray. And, and guys, this is something that I've noticed in my own prayer life as well is that I, I don't do this whenever I'm... You know, like at home and there's nobody else around. I don't do this either. But why is that? Like, why don't we, why don't we, you know, get down on our hands and knees? And uh, I mean, you know, the, the Israelites used to, you know, they, they would put their faces to the ground. Or they would even lay, like, face down on the ground, prostrate in prayer. And it was out of reverence. It was because of how much respect they had for God. And that's something that I just don't see in America anymore. Uh, not even just in America, but in, in, in many Christians across the nation. You just don't see that anymore. Um, like, I've noticed that, you know, like, like at my church, per se, we don't do, like, altar calls, really. Now, I mean, you know, they've... And they will say that, you know, this altar is open. But I do personally believe that there is a good reason to be able to, you know, to give altar calls to get people to come forward. And they may not think that they need to go to the altar. But then when they get there and they're on their knees in front of God and they're, just, they're, they're praying, and maybe they're crying out to him, maybe they're thanking him. But there's a difference. There really is a difference whenever you get down on your knees to pray to God. You know, the Israelites did it out of reverence because of everything that God had taken them through. Everything that God had done for them. And you might say, you know, like, well, you know, I mean, you know, God doesn't quite do things like that anymore. But yes, He does. Look at your life. Just kind of reflect on your life for a moment. I can almost guarantee God's brought you through some amazing things. He's probably given you some amazing things. Recognize that everything in your life is given to you by God. Not just that it's circumstance, but it's given to you. Every good thing. 
And we, I think, really take that for granted. I know a lot of times in my own life I take it for granted. And I may forget to thank God for something that He is doing or has done in my life. Some way that He has helped me. But we, we, I think we really fail to realize that in the grand scheme of things, God has his hands on everything, especially involving our lives as believers. We are his children. So, kind of as a little bit of an extra to that challenge I issued the other day about praying for people and such like that, finding someone to share the gospel with and pray. I want to ask you guys, for one, why don't we get down on our knees and pray to God like we used to? And then at the same time, I would like to challenge you just the same as I'm going to challenge myself today to find a time to get down on my knees and to pray. Maybe it's maybe before you go to bed, you know, or um, maybe whenever you get home and, you know, maybe uh, maybe everybody else is in bed, but you're not yet. That's usually my situation. I think maybe we should try to get back to this point of reverence to God, because like I was saying, you know, he still does do things in our lives every single day just the same as he did for the Israelites in the Old Testament. They are his children, and we are his children as well. We have been grafted in. And we should have respect and reverence for God. And I, I personally think that's one of the reasons why this is not done anymore, other than just not being thought about. I think that there is a... A certain level of disrespect whether we actually know or not that we don't have that respect for God in the same way I think there is a level of that I think it's just something that has more or less you know has developed over time it's it's not like we choose not to get on our knees and pray to God but I will say this me personally there has been plenty of times whenever I'm praying and I swear I feel like God is telling me when I'm praying, get down. You know, get down on your hands and knees and pray. And I don't know. I mean, maybe that's just a feeling. I don't necessarily think it's just a feeling. I don't know. I don't exactly know how to explain it. But it is something that, like I said, it's very curious to me why this doesn't happen anymore. So, if you guys have any thoughts on that, um, post them down in the comments, and we can get some discussion going on about it. I've been thinking about possibly whenever I have time, I may try to do a live stream. I know I've been I've been trying to do a live stream with my uh, my friend Joey on Facebook, but every single time I get on there, I don't know why he can't hear anything I'm saying. So I've got to get that figured out. But I've thought about, like I said, doing a live stream on here. And um, I don't know exactly what we should do a live stream about. Maybe just some Bible study. Maybe we could do like a Q&A kind of live stream. I don't exactly have a, like a ton of answers. I, I know a lot of people say that I'm very biblically intelligent and I, I appreciate that but it's more or less just God speaking through me I think I don't I don't think I'm very <laughs> very scripturally intelligent I, I'm, I feel like a little baby trying to learn how to walk but let me know if you guys would be interested in that and if you are I can try to possibly set that up sometime soon and see if we can get that going but either way I appreciate all you guys that listen to these, these messages and listen to this video. Uh, if you guys, if you made it to the end of this video and, and you enjoy it, maybe hit that like button, subscribe if you've uh, been watching the channel and you're not subscribed yet, 
you will see my videos regularly. I try to do a video either every other day, sometimes it's every day, sometimes it's two or three times a day. But I try to get on here and at least do something somewhat frequently. Guys, I, I hope that God blesses you today and that he keeps you close to him, himself, you know, that he draws you closer to himself in some kind of way. Remember, guys, it's not incredibly hard just to go and talk to somebody. Go find somebody, talk to them, ask them if they need prayer, ask them if they know Jesus. I love you guys. I'll see you all later.